Computers have always scared me. I, I grew up believing that only scientists and engineers could understand them. Then I started to work with Apple personal computers, and I learned how easy it is to use one. You can do sales forecasting and uh, general bookkeeping and even financial charts and graphs. See? Eh? Frankly, uh, at the moment, I have no reason to do all of these things, but who knows? Show business being what it is, I might. Apple, the personal computer. This is an Apple II, and this is an Apple also. This Apple is the original personal computer, easy to own, easy to use, and both Apples can help you get ahead in school, but this one can help you get ahead in life. It can do forecasts, manage money, edit reports. You can use this Apple thousands of ways to be more productive. Only one problem, you can't eat it. Apple, the personal computer. I'm here with an average American homemaker with her own Apple personal computer. Uh, Jill, do you use your Apple for household budgeting? And... Actually, I'm working in gold futures. Oh, well, you could probably put a lot of recipes in there, huh? Mm hmm And you can do trend analyses, generate bar graphs. Are you Tell really you... a homemaker? Well, of course. <laughs> so, Apple is the appliance of the 80s for all those pesky household chores. Hmm? I also own a small steel mill. Apple, the personal computer. I'm learning to use an Apple for text editing, which is uh, useful. Some of my texts could use some editing. You can edit right here on the screen. You can add words like this, or you can remove words like that, or you can move whole paragraphs around to anywhere you want them. It's amazing. You can use the very same Apple to do a zillion other things. You could say that the Apple is mightier than the pen. <laughs> Apple, the personal computer. If you do your business planning with pencil, paper, and calculator, get a load of this. An Apple personal computer can be an electronic worksheet. You change one figure, and it automatically changes all the totals. So revisions are no problem, and it's easy to ask, what if? Always a magical question. Uh, for instance, um, what if Apple sales don't go up after this commercial? You... Oh. I see. Production control only the Apple. My Apple is my manager. There are more people in more places doing more things with Apples than with any other personal computer in the world. We use an Apple to help balance payloads on the shuttle. My Apple has a great head for staff. It sure makes my job a lot easier. Man, we never travel without the apple. Sans mon apple, je deviendrais fou. Oh, Jean! Jamais apple, non pas de main. Louis Bach. Vous aimez All these people using apples, most had never touched a computer before. This is my apple. Apple. The most personal computer. Apple computer. My Apple has a great head for stats. It sure makes my job a lot easier. There are more people in more places doing more things with Apples than with any other personal computer in the world. Man, we never travel without the Apple. And of all these people using Apples, most had never touched a computer before. Apple, the most personal computer. My Apple is my manager. There are more people in more places doing more things with apples than with any other personal computer in the world. Apple computer. Production controller on it then. Apple? Good biggie. And of all these people using apples, most had never touched a computer before. This is my Apple. Apple. The most personal computer. 
My guest today truly needs no introduction. Say, you've had about as many successful seasons as the Yankees, haven't you? Uh, 1941 left a lot to be desired. And what's the ultimate stocking stuffer this year? Apple personal computers are the hot setup. What about all the other electronic wonders? There are a lot of toys out there. When Apple invented the personal computer, we were all alone in the world. But soon it seemed that everybody was trying to build a better Apple. Well, somebody finally did. Lisa from Apple. So advanced it puts us right back where we started. Alone again. Soon there'll be just two kinds of people. Those who use computers and those who use apples. Some business people spend their time has very little to do with a clock. At Apple, we understand that business as usual isn't anymore. That's why we make the most advanced personal computers in the world. And why soon, there'll be just two kinds of people. Hi. Those who use computers. Yeah, I'll be home for breakfast. And those who use apples. lunch wasn't legislated out of existence. It died of natural causes. At Apple, we understand that business as usual isn't anymore. That's why we make the most advanced personal computers in the world. And why soon, there'll be just two kinds of people. Those who use computers, and those who use apples. Some business people don't have their best ideas sitting at a desk. as usual isn't anymore. That's why we make the most advanced personal computers in the world. And why soon there'll be just two kinds of people. Those who use computers and those who use apples. Yeah. 
Soon there'll be just two kinds of people, those who use computers and those who use apples. computer will introduce Macintosh and you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984 introducing Macintosh it does all the things you'd expect a personal computer to do it does a lot of things you wouldn't expect a personal computer to do and it does some things no other computer has ever done before course, to do all this, you will have to learn to do this. Macintosh, the computer for the rest of us. You're about to see a few people learn to use the newest, most advanced business computer in the world. Macintosh, the computer for the rest of us. This is a highly sophisticated office computer, and to use it, all you have to do is learn this. This is Macintosh from Apple, also a highly sophisticated office computer, and to use it, all you have to do is learn this. Now, you decide which one is more sophisticated? Macintosh, the computer for the rest of us. This is Apple's Macintosh. And this is some of the software that's being developed for Macintosh. At the rate of one new program every business day. Exactly how much software is that? We'll give you a hint. Look what the computer wizards at Apple have come up with now. It has the power of these two computers, a built-in disk drive, it can run over 10,000 different programs, and you get everything you need to hook it right up to your TV. Introducing the Apple IIc. Now comes the real magic. You can take it home for under $1,300. This is the new Apple IIc. This is a computer they call Junior. You might think they're similar, but this one can only run this many programs, while the Apple IIc can run this many. The Apple comes with its disk drive built in, so it's much smaller. Even the price is small. Now, which one would you rather take home? The new Apple IIc.
announcing a technological breakthrough of incredible proportions, the new Apple IIc. With over 10,000 programs, it can do almost anything for almost anyone. And absolutely anyone can take it absolutely anywhere for under $1,300. The new Apple IIc. Imagine a powerful computer only two and a quarter inches thin and 12 inches long. It would be a technological breakthrough of incredible proportions. Imagine it could run over 10,000 programs to help your kids get ahead in school and to help you get ahead in business. The new Apple IIc. It's now a figment of reality. It's powerful, it's responsive, it handles beautifully, and it'll blow the doors off anything else in its class. And right now, we'll let you take one out for a test drive overnight. Just visit an authorized Apple dealer and test drive a Macintosh. Test driving a Macintosh isn't taking it home. The hard part isn't plugging it in. The hard part of test driving a Macintosh isn't even learning how to use it. The hard part of taking Macintosh out for a test drive is bringing it back. Before you give up on computers, try the computer you already know how to use. Take Macintosh out for a free overnight test drive. If you're having a hard time understanding computers, try the computer that understands you. Take Macintosh out for a free overnight test drive. If you can't get a computer to do anything but frustrate you, try the computer you already know how to use. Take Macintosh out for a free overnight test drive. If you can't get a computer to do anything but frustrate you, try the computer you already know how to use. Take Macintosh out for a free overnight test drive.
blue and you don't know where to go to Why don't you go where fashion sits? Put on the Ritz Different types who wear a day coat Pants with stripes and cut away coat Perfect fits Put on the Ritz Dress up like a million dollar trooper Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper Come, let's mix where Rockefellers walk with sticks or umbrellas in their mitts. Put on the ritz. Have you seen the well to do up and down Park Avenue on that famous thoroughfare with the noses in the air? High hats and arrow collars, white spats and lots of dollars, spending every dime. For a wonderful time If you're blue and you don't know where to go to Why don't you go where fashion sits Putting on the red as usual. Now, Apple's grown to become a very sophisticated marketing company. We do research on our brand awareness, advertising recall, market share. But I received a letter from a six and a half year old boy a few months ago, which to me completely sums up what we've accomplished in the last few years. And it reads, Dear Mr. Jobs, I was doing a crossword puzzle and a clue was, as American as Apple blank. I thought the answer was computer, but my mom said it was pie. <laughs> this is the beginning of the Macintosh office. I say beginning because this isn't going to be the 100 days of the Macintosh office. It's going to take us two years to earn our way into the office. We've taken a very bold first step with the products you've seen here today. Macintosh's new software, Apple Talk, and the Laser Writer. And we have a strategic window during these next two transition years as we move from the first age of personal computing into the second. History could give us no better opportunity. So today, you've heard our vision and hundreds of CEOs, MIS directors, department heads, and college provosts will be hearing it in the next few months. Because if our vision and concepts are right, today will be the beginning of an alternative 
to IBM's vision of the office, an alternative that starts with people rather than mainframes. Thank you very much. The Apple IIc and money. People in high places are always asking me, Alan, where does the money go? If you wonder the same thing, I suggest an Apple IIc, an Apple modem. Then you can call up your bank and see how much money you have. You can even pay off your bills automatically. If you have any money left over, congratulations. You're doing better than the government is. The Apple IIc. There's no telling how far it can take you. The Apple IIc and words. You know, used to be I could barely type 150 words a minute. Still, it did get me in the Guinness Book of Records. Now I can do nearly 200 words a minute with my Apple IIc. And it's so smart that it even can check to see if I made any mistakes. Lots of luck, little fella. The Apple IIc. There's no telling how far it can take you. about teachers haven't. They still care about kids, and their day still doesn't end at three o'clock. The Apple II, there's no telling how far it can take you. This morning, Brian Scott made a career decision. He decided to be an astronaut. His first giant step, learning to use an apple. There are more Apple IIs teaching more subjects in more schools than any other computer. So whatever Brian wants to be, an Apple personal computer can help him be it. As of this afternoon, that's a marine biologist. The Apple II. There's no telling how far it can take you. This is the Apple IIc personal computer. Small as it is, it can coordinate all the systems of a 50-story building. Now, you'll probably use it for everything from homework to office work, but it's good to know it's powerful enough for bigger jobs, like turning the lights off. The Apple IIc. It's a lot bigger than it looks. This is the Apple IIc personal computer, a more powerful version of the world's most popular personal computer. Even though it's rather small, it can handle an impressive amount of work. Now, you'll probably use it to organize your personal finances or your office files or to help your kids get ahead in school but with enough power to run an automated factory, there's no telling how far it can take you. The Apple IIc, it's a lot bigger than it looks. The things people go through, making their presentations more presentable making their memos more memorable, making their conclusions more convincing, making themselves understood. That's one reason we invented the Macintosh office, to help people do what they spend most of their time doing, communicating by turning ideas that look like this 
into ideas that look like this. You could get a graphic design service to do this in maybe a week. You could get your art department to do this in about three days. You could get a typesetter to do this overnight. Or you could get the Macintosh office and do all this yourself over lunch. Now there are more than 500 software programs for the Macintosh office that can help managers manage, salesmen sell, bankers bank, and vice presidents do whatever it is they do. So no matter what business you're in, you're in business. snow can keep an Apple personal computer from its appointed rounds. Each morning, the Beaumont's Apple II delivers Paul's mail right over the phone lines. It goes to the bank for Barbara. And since their school district also uses apples, it can even help Stephen with his homework. Stephen? Whether he likes it or not, the Apple II, there's no telling how far it can take you. Just because you need to talk to your IBM mainframe doesn't mean you need to talk to IBM. Now there are more than 500 software programs for the Macintosh office. So no matter what business you're in, you're in business. Think of all the power on this earth. The power of nature and human endurance. The power of spirit and speed and determination. resides within the minds of us all. The power to learn, to communicate, to imagine, to create. The power to be your best. Teach your children well their skill will tell how life will go by and show them their own dreams the one they'll pick is the one they'll know by teach them how to think teach them the things that they can live by them how to grow because they know how much they must try nothing's more important than teaching children well that's why more schools teach on apple than any other computer so just look at them and sigh and know they love There are many things that can influence your child at school. Some are obviously passing fancies, while others are just hard for the uninitiated to understand. 
But of all these influences, few are more positive than the Apple II, the computer that's used by more schools than any other. It's one influence parents even encourage at home. Mom, I'm going to crash it. Mom? But we warn you, like many things a kid can pick up in school, it can be contagious. Hi, girls. Hi, Doreen. Hi, Andy. Ready for the history final? History final? Is that today? It sure is. Oh, man, I, I forgot all about it. Let me borrow your nose, will you? Andy, class starts in five minutes. What? See you, Andy. Hope you have your term paper finished. <laughs> Wait. Wait! I haven't been to history class in a while. I forgot which room it's in. Are you right here? The reason more kids use Apple than any other personal computer is because it makes keeping up with school a lot easier. And that makes waking up to school a lot nicer. If you'd like to know what experts are saying about the new Apple II GS, we'll translate. It's got a 15-voice sound chip with digital synthesis. 256K on the motherboard with one meg expansion. Hey, check out this RGB color with super high res. <laughs> Told you, 16-bit processor with 2.8 meg clock speed. The Apple II GS. Some machine, huh? Simply speaking, the most powerful Apple II made. Imagine a brain whose left side is as brilliant as its right. A brain as artistic as it is logical, that can calculate and create. Such a brain exists in the remarkable new Apple II GS. Brilliant graphics, brilliant color, brilliant sound. To help you use both sides of the most personal computer of all, your mind. Macintosh in the middle of your company and some remarkable things start to happen. Those who shoot from the hip suddenly show signs of organization and those who live by the book show glimmers of creativity. Ideas surface from people you thought had retired. You are Bill. Bill. Reports that could bore the dead sparkle with graphic clarity. Your eighth floor will actually communicate with your seventh. Presentations begin to border on the flamboyant, and your most tireless worker will actually have time to take an afternoon off. And a budding genius will be found this. where once a face was seen, it's very good. but not heard. Very, very good. And one by one, each and every person in your company will begin to discover the power of Macintosh, the power to be your best. They here yet? Plenty of time. It's only 7.45. What's so interesting? Those two down there. Oh, that's Wilson and Bennett. A couple of hot shots from finance. What do they carry? Oh, those are computers. Computers? They're taking our computers home at night? Not exactly. They're bringing their computers in. You're kidding. What for? Well, for one thing, that's how they put together these killer forecasts. You mean we can't do this on our system? Nope. Not like this. Okay. Two questions. What kind of computers are they using? And? And why don't we have them? Uh, this is uh, Captain again. Uh, we 
Now I expect to arrive at uh, Kennedy Airport around uh, 6.40 a.m. I see you've got homework, too. It never ends. You think when you get to this point, things would get easier? Yeah, I know. It looks like that was quite a project. Yeah, it was. Have a look. No trade secrets here. Well, thanks. Hmm. Impressive. I wish we could do work like this. But we have to crank it out every week. We do ours every week. Well, we can't afford to farm ours out. We have to do them on a computer. We did this on our computer. You did that on the computer? Of course. If we farmed them out, I couldn't afford to ride up here. Yes, I know, but I understand, but I still want our attorneys to handle it. Fine. Isn't that thing settled yet? Looks like it's going to drag on forever. What do you think of Jensen's report? Looks OK. OK. All right, it looks terrific. What do you want me to say? This is great work. I thought so, too. It's nice to see our computer system is finally earning its keep. I wish that were true. What do you mean? Marketing isn't using our system anymore. They're not? And how do they do this? They did it on their own system. The one they got a month ago. They put this together in a month? Well, not quite, Frank. They did it in a week. trying to get even because I have the higher grade point average? Yeah, and as I recall, the lower starting salary. Yeah, but at the hottest shop in town. Yeah, as an assistant to an assistant. Oh, OK, OK. So who was first as a vice president? And last was a corner office. But if I can land the North Bay project? Yeah? I'm talking senior partnership. Really? There's a look. You tell me. Whew. What a production. You guys must have had outside help on this one. No way. We put the whole thing together ourselves. Come on. No, really. We did everything on our computer. Revenue projections, impact studies? Everything. So, uh, what kind of computer? Well, I'm running late. Come on, what kind of computer? time at all, so let's get moving. First, Ivan, I know your group can make these numbers look presentable. Got it. Next, we'll need work from every department. Who's set up for that? Our computers are tied in. Great. Mike, how long for graphics? Two, three days max. Not good enough. Our computer can do it in a day. It's yours. Joni, typesetting and printing? About a week on overtime. Now, hold on now. Who published this? We did, on the computer. Well, do it again. Joe, how long for a production flowchart? We're jammed. We'll do it as fast as we can. I haven't helped them out. Last, we need presentation overheads. Any ideas? Helen, I just looked at these numbers. They're pretty grim. Those are computer costs. Well, didn't we pay for those systems last quarter? We did, but those are training costs. Well, let me get this straight. We're spending more on training than we did on the computers? Boston doesn't show these costs. They use a different system. So? Apparently, with their computers, the people can train themselves.
We've been talking it over, and we agree that on the basis of the work, it's easily the best presentation we've seen. We'd like to award you the account, but frankly, there's a problem. What's that? You agreed to keep this assignment confidential. I don't understand. Obviously, you brought in freelance artists, typesetters. You might as well hold a press conference. Now, hold on, hold on. All the work we've shown you was done by the people in this room on a computer. What computer puts out work like this? Hire us and we'll tell you. Hey, Bowen, how you doing? Hey, pretty good, Joey. How are you? Good, sir. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. You see that game last night? Oh, man, let me tell you about that game. I was supposed to ah, finish the oh, already. Oh, oh, I couldn't believe it. Hey, I, I thought we were supposed out. to be doing this in-house. That's right. Mass assault, would you? Yeah, hey, your group do this? Uh, new computer. Uh, the salt. Oh. I mean, oh, just stop. Quintile analysis? Hey, give me a break. Well, Siegel did that. I thought he's in the L.A. office. Yeah, so is Edwards. She did the graphics. You missed this great catch. I heard about it. What happened? Hey, the market projections? Garnett, Chicago. Great catch off the wall. Do the guy out of second base. So how'd you get everybody together in the same place? I told you. Your computer. What kind of a system can do that? Rock and roll. What? Rock and roll. Pardon me? Steve? Hi, Jenny. Please, sit down, sit down, please. What are you doing, opening a branch office? No, saving my job. They moved this meeting up to tomorrow morning. Don't you guys have computers? Sure, so what? Oh, I wouldn't even think of doing stuff like this without mine. Well, thank you for sharing that. Oh, really nice, Steve. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, Jenny, you can find me a computer and do this, or this, or this. I will buy you this entire restaurant and everything in it. And there's something else our system can offer. Graphics. And I'm talking thousands and thousands of colors. It's a nice system. I just can't take a chance on something new. A chance? Our whole company stands behind our product. But I'm not a gambler. We've got the software. We're all tied together. Everybody's trained. The last thing that I need right now is a change. Well. I hope you'll keep us in mind. Well, maybe. When you've got the software. It's coming. I'm sorry. It's just not a safe decision. So they sent you down to check up on me. Who am I to check up on you? So how's it coming? I don't know. You tell me. Where'd you get all this? I keep telling you guys, the worst place to get any work done is at work. But you're all alone here. I mean, no secretary, no production department, no nothing. Oh, I wouldn't exactly say nothing. When Andrea Barber grows up, she's going yeah. to publish a newspaper. 
But then that's what she's doing right now. The kids are going to freak when they see this. Roger, Chris Roger, Stahl one. wants to pilot a jet plane. One, you, In fact, know. he's already flying one. And when Hakeem grows up, he's going to be a record producer. A child with an Apple II computer quickly learns there's no use putting off until tomorrow what you can do today. Hi, my name is Jennifer Graham. Last year in my biology class, I refused to dissect a frog. I didn't want to hurt a living thing. I said I would be happy to do it on an Apple computer. That way, I can learn, and the frog lives. But that got me into a lot of trouble, and I got a lower grade. So this year, I'm using my Apple II to study something entirely new. Constitutional law. Dad! Just a second, Martin. An Apple II GS can do over 10,000 things for your family. My computer. Maybe even teach them to share. Mom. to thank all the people who made this program possible. I'm different and I don't care who knows it. Something about me, not the savior. I'm different and that's how it goes. Ain't gonna play your dumb old game. I got a different way of walking I got a different kind of smile I got a different way of talking Drive the women kind of wild He's different You don't care who knows it at Apple, we build tools that help ordinary people do extraordinary things. But sometimes it's more important to help extraordinary people do ordinary things. I'm different, and I don't care who knows it. They ain't gonna play your dumb old game. Staring out there all day. What are you doing? Testing. Testing what? Computers. I'm trying to figure out which computer is the most powerful. Well, that's easy. The one with the most memory. Megahertz, MIPS, you know. No, I don't think so. I think the most powerful computer is the one that people actually use. Hi, Ken. Hey. There's a computer with the power to change the way you look at computers. Macintosh. 
the power to be your best. But that's not really a fair comparison. People like using the Mac. You've been staring out there all day. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out which computer is the most powerful. Well, that's easy. The one with the most memory. Megahertz, MIPS, you know. No, I don't think so. There we go. I think the most powerful computer is the one that people actually use. Macintosh has the power to change the way you look at computers. But that's not really a fair comparison. People like using the Mac. Everybody. Good morning. New teachers have to be tough, so you're scared of them. Did you bring your pictures? Yeah. Amy, would you come up here and bring your picture with you, please? Uh -oh. Me in trouble. I'm gonna check on Miss Casman. This is special power that can bring students and teachers closer together. The power to be your best. Whoa, that's cool! Hey, how's your new teacher? Oh, she's okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Amy, I hear your new teacher's real mean. Amy, would you come up here and bring your picture with you, please? Uh -oh. Me in trouble. Look at the picture. This is special power that can bring students and teachers closer together. The power to be your best. Hey, how's your new teacher? Oh, she's OK. crazy to start his own business. He won't have our resources. He won't have our computers. Morning, Greg. Morning, Annie. Hey, you been busy? Sure, it's a lot of space for one guy. He says he's planning to grow. Um, no. Is this noise bothering you, pal? No problem, thanks. He won't have our uh, graphics department. He won't have our... Uh... He won't have our bureaucracy. I heard Greg Clancy went independent. I wish I had his guts. I'm having lots of fun. Ain't no high I'm the postman. This proposal is impressive. Who are these guys, anyway? Greg's a creative guy. Clancy's just a bean counter. I'm the CEO. Macintosh has the power to make you independent. The power to be your best. How come you got so much space? I'm an optimist. start his own business. He won't have our resources. He won't have our computers. I heard Greg Clancy went independent. I wish I had his guts. 
You won't have our, uh, you won't have our bureaucracy. I'm having lots of fun. This proposal is impressive. Who are these guys, anyway? Greg's a creative guy. Clancy's just a bean counter. Macintosh has the power to make you independent. The power to be your best. I told him you can't hide from computers forever. He got burned once. I already got one big expensive computer system in the storeroom. The only guy that could work it moved to L.A. What could the computer if nobody uses it? Maybe this computer's different. Well, he's got no choice. This company's getting too big not to have computers. I hear he's working on a new system. He said he won't let his people work on anything he can't use himself. It's supposed to be easy. It can't be that hard. My boy uses one in school. You better do something fast. Getting buried in paperwork. He got burned once. Sure looks like he knows what he's doing. I guess he figured it out. Macintosh has the power to change the way you feel about computers. The power to be your best. Well, I'll be. I'll be. I told him you can't hide from computers forever. He got burned once. I already got one big expensive computer system in the storeroom. The only guy that could work it moved to L.A. What could the computer if nobody uses it? I hear he's working on a new system. He said he won't let his people work on anything he can't use himself. Maybe this computer's different. Macintosh has the power to change the way you feel about computers. The power to be your best. I'll, I'll be. I'll be. Things that work, dear. Okay. They want me to use a computer. A computer? You? I mean, what do I need a computer for? I'm not an accountant. I figure, watch. I've been in this business 11 years, right? Why do I need one now? I've done fine without one. Well, I'm walking to my office and they have this computer there. Can you imagine me working on a computer? They figure if you can use one, then anybody can use one. <laughs> Macintosh has the power to change your mind about computers. The power to be your best. So I was wrong. I mean, what do I need a computer for? I'm not an accountant. But why should I be the company guinea pig? Why do I need one now? I've done fine without one. Can you imagine me working on a computer? Macintosh has the power to change your mind about computers. The power to be your best. So I was wrong.
J'ai le billet, monsieur. En attendant l'appel du numéro de siège, figure Parlo sette lingue, ma questo non lo capisco. Introducing the first portable computer you already know how to use. Excuse me. It's my computer. I seem to be having trouble. I know nothing about computers. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about computers either. Introducing the first portable computer you already know how to use. Excuse me. It's my computer. I seem to be having trouble. I know nothing about computers. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about computers either. Better than the cab ride. <laughs> yeah, okay. Can you send that down to finance now? Okay, hold on, I'm sending it. Five minutes. I'm online with Chicago. Strange. What is it? Your people. <laughs> What's wrong with them? <laughs> Not that. Can I get on here soon? Where'd you find all these computer people anyway? What are you talking about? I've got two dozen PCs in my department, and my people hardly touch them. Yours actually stand in line. You still don't get it, do you? Get what? <laughs> you don't have the wrong people. You have the wrong computers. The most powerful computer is the one people actually use. Macintosh, the power to be your best. <sighs> that can't be it. I gave them all six weeks of training. Chez Apple, nous croyons que l'ordinateur le plus performant au monde est celui que les gens aiment utiliser. Un ordinateur que vous maîtrisez en quelques minutes et non pas en quelques heures. Qui peut faire fonctionner des milliers de programmes qui a des ressources de réseau intégrées. Et que tout le monde peut se permettre d'acheter. Voici le Macintosh classique. À 1349 dollars, les autres ne sont que de l'histoire ancienne. on Manhattan Island every day. Huddle there, fit. Okay, everyone. Let's see how much you learned about Mexico this week. Tinot. Tinot tea. Tinot tea. Hoy vamos a analizar la economía de Japón. La diversidad de la economía. ¿Cómo es que los japoneses han hecho tanto? Ya es Europa de donde yo todo. Today, there are more students in more schools in more places, learning about more subjects with Apple computers than with any other computers on Earth. In a world that's changing so fast it's easy to get left behind, it's nice to know so many students have the power to stay ahead. Mademoiselle? John Carlson on the phone from Los Angeles again. Carlson? He's from Apple Computers Ad Agency. They want to do a commercial about us. Would we get to be in the commercial? No. Because we can't do it. Why not? Why not? Over the past 15 months, we've doubled our productivity. We've cut development time by a third. That's what I mean. I mean, 
Why would we go on national TV and tell our competition exactly how we did it? It's a good point. Is that you cannot intimidate human beings into productivity. The key is to let people do what they do best, whatever way works best for them. At the same time, fundamental principles of mass production give ordinary people access to powerful technology. That which was affordable to the few becomes available to the many. Mass production becomes mass productivity. The Industrial Revolution meets the Age of Enlightenment. The walls have come down. Opportunity has gone up. And your only limits will be the size of your ideas and the degree of your dedication. People, this is an exciting time to be alive. Windows support, Bill. Windows support, Greg. Did you try Set IRQ4? TXT. Try IRQ5. Oh, okay, Windows type Greg. copy space C colon type backslash Windows. 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 Windows support, Greg. Windows support, Windows support, Greg. support Bill. Okay, try resetting your win.any yeah. and yeah. system.any file. Okay, okay. Uh, Windows uh, support, Greg. You still there? Okay, please hold. Please hold. Okay, please hold. Windows, Windows support, support Greg. If you want a computer that's easy to use. Mac support, John. Please hold. Yeah, hang on. Uh, this calls for you guys. There's still only one. Contains too many characters for characters that wrong. I have not done anything wrong. C colon backslash windows. Hey, do you mind? Oh, what seems to be the problem here? Sir, do you know anything about computers? Well, I do know one thing. I wish you had one of those. If you want a computer that's easy to use, there's still only one way to go. To set the temp variable to use a directory named TMP located on drive C, add the following line to your order. Wait, 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 just, can you wait a minute? Huh? Which one should I type? Well, either, well, both. You well, told me you can do this. Would you help me on this plan? I'm trying, but we've been sitting here. I can't make this work. I can't do both. Computer, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I heard about those. System file not found. You lost the presentation? I'm trying to find it. Well, that means you lost it. How could you lose the presentation? You sure you guys know what you're doing? <laughs> Do you want to just call the support line? Try again, please. As far as I can see. Okay, you know what? I'll read you type. Okay. I've been doing this for weeks. Okay, for you. All right. Chapter four: Troubleshooting. Type the dear command to see how much. Dear space. or dare? Dare. Dare. You guys aren't from around here, are you? I don't think so. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about computers, would you? <laughs> I know one thing. I'd rather have one of those. <laughs> If you want a computer that's easy to use, there's still only one way to go. Okay, try typing C colon backslash windows. I'm confused. C colon well, backslash. You type a slash, not a backslash. It just says bad file name again. Shh. Why? Conventional sort of name. Okay, what does it say now? So what seems to be the problem here? Sir, do you know anything about computers? Well, I do know one thing. I wish you had one of those. If you want a computer that's easy to use, there's still only one way to go. Okay, try typing C colon backslash windows. I'm confused. C colon well, backslash. Type a slash, not a backslash. It just says bad file name again. Okay, what does it say now? So what seems to be the problem here? Uh, sir, do you know anything about computers? Well, I do know one thing. I wish you had one of those. If you want a computer that's easy to use, there's still only one way.
This is what it takes to add a simple hard drive to an ordinary personal computer. This is what it takes to add a simple hard drive to a Macintosh. Now, which computer do you think will make your life easier?